Welcome to Men Health 24-7. Alright, so today we'll be looking at the first reaction, which is addition of HX to alkenes, as well as using Markovnikov's rule. So, let's get started. What is an addition reaction? So addition reactions, again, we said earlier, it's where you're adding something to the molecule to the molecule to remove the pi bond. And then the opposite of that is the elimination reactions, where you're removing something from the molecule to reform the pi bond. Now, the first type of addition reaction we're looking at is the addition of molecules of HX. So like HCl, HBr. So here we have ethane, ethane, ethene, for example. Ethene, we're going to add addition of HX or HCl, again, HBr, HCl. Ethane gets you... Again, example is this addition reaction. What you're doing, you're adding the HCl molecule and you're removing the pi bond. That's why it's called an addition reaction because you're adding something to remove the pi bond. So, let's predict the frauds here. 2 methylpropyl we're adding HCl to it. Again, one of the carbons doesn't get the hydrogen attached and one of them is going to get the chlorine attached. So, what's going to be the fraud here? Well, Let's take a look. So the next, the product's obviously going to be, as you see, all we've done, we added a carbon. That carbon got the chlorine, and the other carbon, this carbon, got the hydrogen, as you can see there. So, if that's all there is to it, actually speaking. It's very, very simple to have a mechanism, not that bad at all. But, I'm sorry, the second arrow was the one that got the chlorine. Now, how does this reaction occur? Well, Understanding is very critical, so we have to get some definitions. What is electrophile? Electrophiles are electron-loving species. They are positively charged. They want electrons. While well, nucleophiles are electron-donating species, like they usually have a lone pair of electrons. They're negatively charged, neutral, and they really want to give up electrons. And these reactions we call our electrophilic addition reaction. The addition of HX is an electrophilic addition reaction. Why is it called electrophilic addition? Because the very determining step involves addition of electrophile, in this case, is hydrogen, as you can see there as well. So first of all, the lone pair of electrons in the carbon pi bond is going to attack the hydrogen, and the lone pair of electrons is going to be forced onto the chlorine. And what's going to happen, you're going to get this carbocation intermediate, because there's le the carbon lost electrons, and now the chlorine has a full pair of electrons and the chlorine is now going to attack the positive card but positive like negative interaction occurs and it's just to get the chlorine molecule added onto that carbon there. So what is Markovnikov's rule? Markovnikov's rule basically states that you know as you can see how do you know which carbon the chlorine is going to go off of that carbon or is it going to be the other carbon? Well to assist and help you which understand which carbon the chlorine or which of the one tires is going to go to, that's where we have a guy named uh, Vladimir Markovnikov who came up with the rule, and he states that the hydrogen will always go to the carbon that has the great number of hydrogens, and the other, the X part of it, will always go to like the chlorine bromine part of it, will always go to the other carbon, as you can see there as well. And there's actually a reason for the Markovnikov rule as well. We're going to get to that at the end of the video, and the reason is carbocation stability. But let's see how we can use Markovnikov's rule to um, understand and predict the products. So, let's say we have a molecule here. Okay, what we're going to do, so the hydrogen is always going to go to the carbon with a great number of hydrogens. The first arrow indicates that it has two hydrogens. The, la the arrow, the carbon on the left, only has zero hydrogens. So it's always the hydrogen goes to the one on the right carbon, and then the left carbon gets the chlorine molecule. Now this is what would happen if you did the other way around, and that's not going to be formed at all. So here's, why do we have to use marketing? Well, that's because of carbon count stability. And tertiary carbon counts are where there's three carbons attached to the positive carbon. A secondary carbon count is there's two uh, a methyl groups attached to the same carbon, and a primary carbon there's, a, um, there's one methyl group attached to the positive carbon there. And the, there's stability because obviously carbon cations are obviously positive, so they want electrons. And a tertiary carbon count is more stable than most stable, and the primary carbon cations are least stable. And the reason why is tertiary carbons are more stable because there's three electron releasing methyl groups that help reduce the positive charge. So in this case, again, the hydrogen will obviously go to that carbon there because there's a great number of hydrogens, and the chlorine will obviously go to the carbon on the left because there's less number of hydrogens there. And that's in accordance with Markovnikov's rule. So as you can see, we're going to get a carbocation intermediate, and that's an example of primary carbocation, but the one on the right is a secondary carbocation, and as we know earlier, secondary carbocations are more stable, and that's why it's the one on the right that's being formed and not the one on the left, because secondary carbocations are more stable than primary carbocations. So that's the reason behind Markovnikov's rule. The hydrogen all goes to the carbon with the greater number of hydrogens, and the X will always go to the other carbons. So here we have one metal cycle hexene. Where is it going to go? Well, the hydrogen, here we have a double bond, and on one end we have uh, a hydrogen, on the other end we have no hydrogens. So the hydrogen is also going to go on the one that's on the bottom, as you can see here. So the hydrogen is also going to go uh, on that lower carbon there, and the Br- will go on the up on the one on the top. As you can see here, the bromine goes on the top carbon, and the hydrogen will go on the bottom carbon. And the reason why it goes on the bottom carbon is because there's a greater number of hydrogens on the bottom. So that's a pre what we're looking at addition of HX and using Markovnikov's rule. Uh, for the other uh, addition reaction videos, please see below.